US bank JP Morgan Chase & Co has agreed to a record $13 billion settlement with US regulators after admitting it regularly misled investors in the run-up to the 2008 financial crisis. This will be the largest penalty ever imposed on any person or entity by the US government. It's more than triple the four billion imposed on British Petroleum, which was the runner-up. As part of the deal, JP Morgan have agreed to provide affected homeowners with $4 billion. Another $6 billion will go to compensating investors, and JP Morgan will also pay $2 billion in penalties to the federal government. The landmark deal comes after months of negotiations and could serve as a precedent for similar settlements with banks. Today I am proud to join our partners in an unprecedented state and federal partnership in announcing a landmark settlement with J.P. Morgan Chase for misconduct that, that contributed to the global financial crisis that brought our economy to its knees. When the housing market clapped in 2006, the securities that had been sold by J.P. Morgan plunged in value as many contained faulty mortgage products, triggering a financial crisis which pushed the global economy into the worst recession the world had seen since the 1930s. The $13 billion agreement announced today uh, holds Chase accountable for fraud in both its own residential mortgage-backed securities business and in dealings with two other financial institutions that had acquired Bear Stearns and Washington Mutual. Earlier this month, J.P. Morgan announced they have reached a $4.5 billion settlement with 21 major institutional investors after deceiving them about the quality of high-risk mortgage securities between 2005 and 2008.